Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Nichi Joe, episode number 10 reaction. Alright, the previous episode. Ah, we, um, I loved that uh, the episodes one section was really great. I love that part so much. It's a whole section where uh, all of the three go to a restaurant to uh, order something and Yuko was like, ah, this is like you know, just for me let me handle this and she was acting trying to act cool and everything while the waitress just didn't even care and she made, <laughs> she came in with the order so late and yuko was so mad at her but as soon as she tries to complain the waitress starts crying which completely threw yuko off guard and she was like all right let me just shut up and eat my meal no need to complain and that that was just fantastic and <laughs> That was hilarious. I love the section where the waiters just started crying without even getting any complaint. <laughs> oh, so yeah, that that was the best part of the previous episode. Um, other than that, there was that whole section with mosquitoes, with um, where Yuko tried to like you know had like the epic battle with it, while the mom just came and slapped her unconscious. <laughs> Oh boy, and then um, oh, there was that section with uh, Sakamoto and uh, uh, Hakase, where Hakase again tried to blame, you know, her eating snacks on Sakamoto, and this time um, Nano got extremely angry and gave them both a lecture. And uh, by the end, like you know, there was that whole section with strawberry juice where she wanted to have strawberry juice, but Nano was like, "No, I'm not going to let you have it." But then Hakase was like, "All right, I'm going to remove your key." and nana was like okay then i think that can be negotiated so she decided to just sit there and let hakase take out the key but hakase just ended up taking another <laughs> strawberry milk and just running away <laughs> that was that was funny and uh, yeah these like you know these were what uh, happened oh and then there was that final section with the the rice cake i think that uh, no what was that Mo was that mochi or was it rice cake i forgot either way um that thing where uh, mio thought she was going to get like a lot of part-time money from doing that uh, like you know thing but no one just came to buy anything and yuko you know like was embarrassed to just wear the whole thing and the, <laughs> the manager got mad and decided to <laughs> advertise himself started busting out some weird dance moves and almost got arrested <laughs> so yeah let's start with this episode this is episode number 10 let's see what more weird stuff happens today so yeah i'll be putting the subtitles on the timer here sync it whichever is your preference and let's get started okay here's the countdown three two one go Is this a shrine? Yeah. No. Oh, they're playing the red light, green light. Okay. <laughs> All right. Ah. Uh. Um. What? She's just looking at the. <laughs> I don't think this is how you're supposed to play the game, but... Uh, I guess... Yeah... Okay, you know what? I guess you can... <laughs> oh no... <laughs> this is one way to play this game, I guess my god they just went with the opening i think is there any i i think there is, is supposed to be a rule where i'm not sure like the red line, uh the red light green light i do hope there is a rule where it states that oh you cannot just you know like keep looking at them for an uh, extended amount of time otherwise just like how my just went in and sat down like people would usually do that yeah most probably there is a rule against it like ah you can not keep staring at them for like more than five seconds or something 
<clears throat> okay, let's see. <laughs> I love the traffic guys in this show. <laughs> <laughs> she already used. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Let's go. <laughs> Four times. Wait. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, who? Oh. Did the teacher not come? Oh no. I feel like... Is it locked? Oh god. Oh, well, she has to go in there. Or maybe from the window. <laughs> the window is a... Oh no, what? <laughs> My. The window, window is a. Yes, there you go. Okay, well. The other window? Maybe. <laughs> Oh wow, here we go. This whole. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but the trap. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, well, okay. I feel like the teacher has not come still. Like, otherwise, why is the. But I guess this is Nietzsche, Joe. Like, common sense wouldn't make. Okay. Oh, is it a holiday? Oh no, wait, never mind. <laughs> Your face. Wait, so someone made the trap and went out? No, they went outside and then made the trap. Okay. What? What is this? That was random. <laughs> Bubble. Oh, I used to do these. These, these are kind of really fun. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, um, yeah? What the hell? <laughs> oh, but this will work. <laughs> No, she's not okay. <laughs> what? Blue note. 
Wait. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, Sakamoto will not be happy about this. Yeah. <laughs> It's not working. Wait, she was playing it a few minutes ago. Oh, was she the only one making that noise? Ah, oh, I understand now. It was not Nano. Uh, it was not Hakase. Oh, it's it's stopped up now again. Nagashi Somen and Tokisada Park around lunchtime. Okay. Yeah, the one with the bamboo poles, they kind of put water, I think, and put the noodles on top and it comes down. That one, isn't it? Hmm. Slide. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, that's oh my wait, stop! No, oh my god, that was a waste. <laughs> oh, okay, be ready. You need a chop, you need chopsticks. <laughs> yeah. Use your mouth. Use your mouth. Oh, okay. There you go. Ah! Oh, no! That's not an... Ex okay, what? Yo, grab it. There you go. Uh, don't... <laughs> uh... <laughs> okay. Wait, no. Um. Um, how are you going to eat these? Like, just bite on them or something? <laughs> I, I don't... Uh, wait, who? Now I just told my researcher, Egi Masaharu, okay. <laughs> who is who is this long lost lover or something <laughs> <laughs> yes oh my god that was perfect <laughs> she did come so oh 30 years <laughs> Wait, then what was the point? <laughs> wow. So did he come to take more money? That'll be kind of funny. Wow, the pun. Ah. Wait. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Word of the day. Ah, yeah. That doesn't... 
<laughs> That's sad. Oh boy. Wait, what? Oh, wait. Ooh. Um yeah, okay, I guess. Oh. She she did a ponytail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pretty okay pretty older sister like um oh wow oh okay that's that's a nice now it's like wow I should have I should have done this a long time ago. <laughs> she would clean up on her own. Um Yeah. Oh no, what's she Oh, let her do it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <Keep on. laughs> yeah, let her do it. What what's Can she reach it? Yeah. Oh no. There you go. <laughs> okay. Off you go. Is everything. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. Okay. I love how random this is, like, some random shop. Oh my god, she's still continuing this. Okay, no, no cooking. Yeah, don't go near fire. Oh, okay. Um. Oh no, oh no. Oh! <laughs> Just lick it in, lick, lick it in. No, okay, enough. Yeah. She's going to break everything. Oh my god. Um Oh. Um, she, she has some plan. Oh, <laughs> she's going to take off the ponytail now. I can see that. 
There you go. <laughs> oh my god. River fishing, okay. Mm hmm? Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> what will it be? Boot number two? Uh, it's a teapot. Maybe. <laughs> That's a very clean stream. How did she even get? Oh my god, it's a Momo. Okay. <laughs> That was the whole Momo Taro. Oh my god. Wow. Okay. The revolving sushi, okay. I think you're not supposed to put the blade back in the revolving thing after you finish eating, I think. Like some people do that and it's not good manners or something they say. Well, uh, relatable. <laughs> oh, really? Equipped. So she wants to do a job. Yeah. What? Wait, <laughs> there's a whole human evolution thing with this. <laughs> What's happening here? Frillic lizard. <laughs> no. Some clean thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you need to study for that. You know? Baseball player? There's like a poster behind you. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> the whole cycle <laughs> she's coming back to the same place I'd like to do okay probably nothing <laughs> just want to laze around <laughs> Oh no, his, her mom is going to come up again and slap her. There you go. I knew this was going to happen. Oh, this time it's not a slap. It's a whole wrestling move. <laughs> I don't think it's that late, but still. <laughs> You'll be like, ah, let's get back to my homework again. Wow. <laughs> there you go, I knew that she was going to say that. Wow. <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> oh my god, the, the final section was... Now that I'm thinking about it, it's, it's really funny. She ended up thinking of all the different ways, like, you know, what she wants to be, this and that. She doesn't want to study and all. And as soon as the mom comes and just whacks him <laughs> in the ground, she's like, yeah, let's go back to my homework. <laughs> Like, like, you know, like, the, just like how a child's host tantrum and when the mom suddenly gets pissed, like, you know, finally gets pissed off and, like, scolds that, you know, the child or, like, you know, just says something and the child just stops and the child is like, all right, let's just, you know, like, stop, uh, not, let's not continue with this and do my usual stuff, <laughs> that type of a thing. <clears throat> the person who's singing the song changed, I think, isn't it? Uh, the voice is a bit different, like this ending sequence. Yeah, it's, it's a different voice. All right. Whoa. Oh my God! This is. She is still go. Oh, I. F <laughs> Who is this? N Nozawa Masako. Nozawa Masako. Okay, you know what? Let me check. Nozawa Masako. I. Masako Nozawa. Um. Oh, Goku's voice actor. Ah. Yeah, yeah. True. I can. I can hear it. Who else? Any recent uh anime? Wow. This, this person has been doing voice acting from nineteen sixties from Astro Boy. Wow. Okay, Masaka, uh, Masako Nozawa. Any recent anime? Let's see. Uh, in 2010, there has been a few. Okay, One Piece. No, wait. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, here we go. Uh, there you go. I, I can see now. Uh, Dragon Ball. Uh, Sun Goku, Sun Gohan, Sun Goten, Sun... Uh, Gotenks, Goku, Black, Vegito. Oh, okay. It's a lot of... Okay. Um, Overlord, Regret, Episode 1, Season 2. Um, anything else? Uh, yeah, nah. I think that is it. Yeah, that's it. And a few other, like, you know, like, uh, other minor roles from other animes. Okay. Yeah, I can, I can hear the, uh, her voice now, uh, you know, in, in Goku. Yep, there you go. All right, this episode, uh, we begin with <clears throat> the red light, green light um, game. And <laughs> my playing that with uh, the other two. And uh, she just ends up staring at them all along and just sitting down completely. While the other two was obviously you need to be still, so they were just standing still like that and getting exhausted. <laughs> I think that is probably not like you know like that's like breaking the rules. You should not do that. Should not be in like it, there must be a rule like that which states that oh you cannot do that. Just stare at the other people like you know probably there's like a time limit like. Four or five seconds that's the maximum you can stare at the other piece of person then you to you need to look back again and start the count of the whole daruma sangha koronda that that thing so yeah anyways um we begin the episode after that with yuko being late to school and uh, her <laughs> i love i like it's kind of uh funny where she kind of said that oh at least one car could have passed in the traffic light because she was just standing there and no there was no car at all but obviously you need to maintain the rules this is the the traffic light is red you cannot go so she's like like i'm already late i have to stand in front of 
four traffic signals and there were no cars at least one car could pass so that you know like i would at least get some kind of a <laughs> <laughs> relief that yeah like you know like the the traffic light i needed to stop there but no car was there nothing so that was that was kind of funny anyways she ends up going to school she's late and she's like god like you know it's already mid uh, like you know, the first uh um, <clears throat> period is already in the middle and i'm now coming to school so she tries to get in and she sees the classic trap of duster on the door thing and <laughs> i i really thought that the teacher was still not here so because you know like otherwise why would the duster be there because if the teacher is in the teacher is the final person to get into a class unless and until someone else comes in after that uh, after the teacher but the duster being there i was like what happened like, you know like did someone put that after the teacher came in like what's happening here and uh, anyways yuko saw that and yuko was like okay let's go through the other door and also uh, the other section of the door also had the duster on so he's she's like ah, a crafty little <laughs> trap here so she's like let's go towards the other door goes there that other door is completely locked and she's like well then what let's go through the lower door like this there's, there's so many doors in this like in a classroom and she tries to go in through the lower. i've never seen a lower door like that you know like i, I have no idea what that is used for but that lo little lower section like like is that even a thing like a lower like i can see that in like in other like you know in, in houses and everything but not in a school classroom like what would you even need that for i have no clue anyways um <coughs> she tries to get in and she sees that there's <laughs> a duster over there as well <laughs> and I, I was just saying you know i was just saying like okay why not the window and i was thinking she was going to go through the other window you know like the the window on the other side of the class but for her to get in through that window <laughs> She needs to climb up the wall and get in. That'll be kind of crazy. So I was thinking, like, what she's going to do. Because the window is the only option. And she thinks about going through the upper section of the window, which usually is there are, like, you know, in classrooms. That, that was completely sealed off with um, the, the, the painting thing. What, what are these, those called? I think it has a particular name um stained glass yeah stained glass there you go i forgot it for a second there stained glass so yeah it was uh completely blocked off because there was stained glass over there <clears throat> now one thing you could probably guess that the person who did that was mai because yeah mai is the only one who would probably do this is so <laughs> like, you know, like she her personality is just like you know trolling everybody and it's, it's, it's definitely her who did that. Now, Yuko's like, what should I do? Like, you know, like, I'm, I'm supposed to get in. The time is going on away. And I'm getting more late. The teacher is probably in there. And, uh, you know, if I get in, I can just, just play this off as a, like, casual joke and go along with the joke and be like, ha ha, Duster was there, didn't see it. It fell on my head. And everyone will join me laughing. And it'll be kind of a funny thing so he was she was like all right let's go with that i'll just play off this as a joke and go along with the joke and uh, that's how i'm going to you know like b make this a lot more easier now <clears throat> she gets in the thing falls and she's like ah hello you guys like you know and then she sees there's no one in there it's written go to the another class i think for something for the yeah now her face after that uh so yeah i guess like you know like there was no sound coming from that classroom so like you know i, I should have probably guessed that there was no one in there for a moment i thought maybe it's a holiday or something and she just came in didn't know that it was a holiday but it was just they were having the class in another class so 
So the question here is, why was the duster up there? So that means after the teacher and everyone went away, it was probably Mai who came out, took the dusters, put the dusters in as a trap for Yuko who would come here and just went on her own way. <laughs> That's probably what happened. <laughs> oh God. Now there was, uh, and then the next part, we get a little section of uh, the bubbles, you know, that you, so bubbles that you make and uh, I, I remember it, I used to do this a lot when I was younger and uh, like here I, I think I, in, in, in animes and everything they use this type of thing which is like a pipe and they kind of blow through that I remember in my like you know, in my place in my country it was not like that but it had a different structure you know like it had like a like a stick with a loop and you you have to put the loop in the soap water and take like this the loop would be here and you would have to blow little by little you know and the balloon uh, not balloon but the bubble would come out and it would get detached and start floating like that was the thing that we had in our place but i've seen in uh, multiple animals they have this like pipe kind of thing which probably is equipped with that thing but in our place it was a little bit different and it, it was kind of you need a little bit of a like you know not skill i would say but a little bit of practice to do it properly because if you just blow in in it it's not going to work you need to slowly slowly blow like you know kind of uh, maintain the uh, strength of your blowing in otherwise the bubble will not form either way my makes that bubble grabs it and just eats it like okay <laughs> oh god now and then the, after that we get the section with where yuko just is like you know putting a bag on her head and she's like oh i'm an alien haha <laughs> <laughs> mio is like what are you doing are you a child <laughs> and she says that verbal things will not work on me and the ball comes and just hits her on the head <laughs> and she's dying almost on the ground <laughs> damn the next part, my uh, sorry, not my uh, Nano and Hakase are playing the trumpet. Or uh, that's a trumpet, isn't it? Or is it? I have no idea. Forgive me if I'm making a mistake. I, I, th I think it's a trumpet, yeah. Anyways, uh, they're playing that, um, and uh, it's so noisy that Sakamoto's like, What the hell are you doing? And she, he, Sakamoto's a cat, obviously, his hearing is a lot better. And he's more annoyed by this. <laughs> and Sa uh, Hakase is like, hey, Sakamoto, Sakamoto, look at this. Let me play. Listen to this. And he starts playing. It's not even sounding anything. And Sakamoto looks at Nano. So that means all the noise that I've been making was Nano all along. It was not Hakase because Hakase can't even play it properly. <laughs> Nano is a little bit embarrassed. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Okay, the next part, the whole Nagashi Soumen section. That was really funny. Um, I've like, obviously I've seen a lot of animes. Nagashi Soumen is a thing which is very common in anime. You know, like they make this bamboo cutting. They have someone on the other side of the bamboo, and someone like you know, a lot of people on the underneath section. Water is flowing through the bamboo, and what they do is put the um, obviously boiled and cooked uh, noodles in the in, in that part it flows down people grab it using chopsticks they have a soy sauce you know on their in a little uh, container with soy sauce in their hand takes the um what do you call it the noodles in dips it in soy sauce and eats it that's i think that's how nagashi soman goes isn't it so <clears throat> this girl i i don't remember her name but she sees that like there's like a poster where they say like the uh, park will have a Nagashi Soumen thing so come if you want to join and she goes there and she sees this random old <laughs> random lady just <laughs> having like a bamboo and using a cup with water and uh, noodles in it and just throwing it in the bamboo and that's how she's doing the whole Nagashi Soumen and she's just like what is happening the first batch of noodles just falls on the ground completely it's wasted and 
The girl is like, wait a minute, I don't even have any chopsticks. And the lady's like, all right, like I'm going to give you a chopstick. Next time, don't miss. And gives her a chopstick, which is already used. So, yeah. <laughs> and <clears throat> then she then she puts a ball in <laughs> a baseball in the in the thing and and when <laughs> and when the girl takes the ball and she's like what the hell is this the lady's like a little bit of humor it's kind of blushing and everything so next she puts in normal noodles not cooked there's no water nothing and she says like at least try to eat them raw you know <laughs> While all of these shenanigans are happening, in comes Egi Masaharu, the Narashis woman researcher. And he's like, oh, you've been doing this again, aren't you? And as soon as she sees him, she herself jumps on top of the bamboo and just slides down. <laughs> that was crazy. And uh, so this person, uh, this uh, Masaharu guy, he has been on a journey to find, I think, perfect way or the perfect Narashi Soman or something and he's been having like a big huge journey and everything and now he is all out of money <laughs> so he's back <laughs> and the lady was like oh I've been doing this all along just so that you like you know like uh, we meet again and uh, you know you come back and they were kind of having this little moment and I was you know like I don't know why, but I thought that they would the whole punchline of this thing would be like she he would say something like uh, you know because he said that I'm out of money. I think he would say something like, "Oh, I came here to <laughs> take more money because I'm going back on uh, away on my journey again. I just came here to grab some money from you or something like that." That I thought that was it was going to go in that way. That would be the whole punchline, but it was nothing like that. You know, he he's he's back. And he starts making some weird puns about Nagashi Soma. <laughs> and oh my god, that was, that was funny. Uh, and the lady in the end was like, what are you looking at, girl? Just go away, this is not a show. <laughs> oh boy. And the next section was the part where the coach says that the, the, the one, the word of the day or something, where he was saying that uh, there's people who improve by praise people who improve by um not by, by like you know like some harsh uh what did he say actually just a sec there's a type that grows with praise and a type that goes with criticism yeah criticism that's the word so now <laughs> and then there was that girl she was like oh i'm the one who goes with praise but i'm not getting praise at all so yeah, this is one thing I've heard, uh, not heard, but it is true, I think. Like, and there's different people who kind of take uh, different things in a lot of different way. People who are more, I think, competitive, more like, you know, just, uh, you know, like, yeah, more competitive or more like have like a bold personality. They are the type of people, I think, who grows with criticism. And if you say something like, oh, what is this? This is bad. Like, you know, like, this is how you do it. They'll get that, like, you know, that, uh, competitive spirit on and they'll be like oh I need to do this better next time that type of a thing that's how they grow and people who are I guess easily intimidated or like you know kind of uh, soft-spoken kind of you know just like that have a personality like that uh, if you criticize them that much they'll just get scared off and they'll probably get depressed so that won't work for them for them I guess you need a little bit of praise and you'll be like oh that this that's so good, you know, you did it so better. Try to do better next time and they'll improve like that. I guess that that is true, you know. For different people, it works different way. And the coach was like, I'm going to use my coach instincts to decide which person to deal how. While the girl was like, oh, I'm the person who gets, works like, you know, well with praise, but I'm not getting praised at all. So what? And then there was that whole section with NASA. I don't understand that at all, what that was. Like, there's some amazing English they were doing there. And yeah, that was it. And there was like, they were talking about like, wait a minute. They were counting down. 
the rocket launches launch when i say that The, the, the everyone was like what i i don't understand that wasn't even english what was that was that english launch when i say i have no idea it's not like a diff some it's not english it's definitely not english what he said there and the the lady in the you know like was like what and the other people were also like what I have no clue what that was anyways okay the next part nano uh, sorry not nano hakase has made a ponytail and she's like oh do i like you know how do i look how do i look and nano is like oh you look like a elder sister you know and <laughs> hakase obviously these type of things hakase love these hakase is like oh really you know like whenever someone kind of praises her like this uh, which kind of makes so much sense because children do that you know if you praise them by saying something and they try to imitate that even more and try to do more of that just so that they get more praised so yeah like you know Hakase was like oh really and she is like okay okay so since I'm an older sister let me do everything and at first I was like okay it's kind of working well isn't it like because if Hakase starts doing her own jobs and these type of things like you know she can learn more about these uh, like you know doing her, her own things it'll be a good uh, good habit for the future or something like that I thought but obviously usually in these type of situations just like how it's good that she's doing these things it also brings the whole thing about oh she's going to mess up a lot which will unfortunately increase Nano's work so that was happening and basically that was it was going in that direction where Hakase was trying to do everything at first she was like Oh, let me take these books and do it properly she she <laughs> she arranges them but in some weird way it's not properly arranged at all as i was saying you know she's doing these things is nice but at the same time nano's work is going to get increased like this and she has to now properly do that after hakase does something and messes something up and then she <laughs> she sees sakamoto sleeping and she's like oh you're going to get a catch a cold puts a puts a Book on top of Sakamoto, Sakamoto just wakes up and Sakamoto's like, what the hell is happening here? Why are you putting books on me? <laughs> like, don't do that. And Nano was, uh, Hakase was like, ah, like, you know, like, uh, oh, goodness, like, you know, like, let, let me put some more. And Sakamoto's like, no, don't do that. <laughs> uh, now, all that was okay. Now they go to the bathroom and they're going to do some laundry now sakamoto uh, not sakamoto sorry uh, hakase does help in uh, putting the things in the uh, in the washing machine and she also wants to do the little timer thing so <laughs> when nano says like oh you don't need to help anymore you know like it's okay obviously this is a little kid sakamoto throws a uh, not sakamoto god damn Hakase throws a tantrum and she's like, no, I want to do it, I want to do it. And she's, she tries to do it, but she's not reaching the, the timer. <laughs> Nano helps her. And after doing that, she just goes on her own way. And Nano realizes the timer that she put was the dryer section, not the um, washer part. The washer part has not been put. So she made a mistake like that. Anyways, these are all like little harmless, like, you know, um, things. But things starts getting a little bit dangerous after that where she says that I'm going to cook. That's dangerous because, you know, like, it's involved with fire. Like, the whole thing with washing machine and everything was, I guess it was fine. But now it's going in dangerous territory. She, she's like, oh, let me give, give it to me. I'm kind of shaking Nano and Nano is kind of making like a um, egg, like a sunny side up egg. So, the egg goes and falls on Sakamoto's head upturned the yolk falls down like and it's like all squashed and everything and Sa it's hot it's freaking hot it's from the frying pan and sakamoto just screams <laughs> and looking at sakamoto akase is like oh you're so helpless sakamoto and oh goodness and sakamoto's like what are you even saying like you know like why are you doing this and 
then <laughs> nano says that is because um oh no sorry after that sakamoto again tries to get uh, not sakamoto god damn why am i making that mistake akase again tries to get the egg and the raw eggs fall on sakamoto's head again and this time sakamoto's like what's happening why why are you acting like this and nano explains the situation she wants to become a, like an older sister and uh, that's why she is doing this sakamoto hatches a plan which was a very intelligent plan i have to say he says that you do you know that el like an you know, old elder sisters don't eat snacks <laughs> Hagase takes off the hairband and she's like oh just kidding it's me professor i'm not an older sister <laughs> oh boy that was funny the next part fishing oh that this section um you go fishes out some random stuff like a teapot a boot and she says something like oh if this was this interesting i would have probably called my friends <laughs> after that in comes a little not a little but a huge peach from the uh, like you know, down the stream and i'm pretty sure that was like a whole uh, momotaro reference you know like the whole uh, a peach that's from momotaro isn't it i think so you know like a peach coming down from the yeah um i think the old la there's like an old lady and an old man was it the old lady or the old man who found momotaro i think it was the old lady who went to the stream to do the clothes and that's when she came across the um the peach coming downstream yeah i think that was that was how it goes and that's how she found uh, the peach or the you know like the the place where momotaro was in and uh, i i don't know the details but i remember that it was something like yeah after that they they break open the peach and momotaro comes out something like that i think i don't remember much stuff but i did like you know i did not know it's been a while so i've forgotten it something like that it was so yeah that was basically that in and that section which kind of shows that you know, Yuko was saying that, um, oh, if th it was this interesting, I would have brought in my friends here. And this kind of shows that, yeah, like, you know, if she brought her friends, it would have been crazy because that was one of the most interesting things that happened. Like a Momo, uh, not Mo uh, a peach coming down from the top of the stream. And then there was that sushi section, the, the, the old man eating sushi. I don't know what that was. Yeah. Uh, okay, and then the final section of Yuko just thinking about how she doesn't want to do her homework. And uh, like I said, this part is so f interesting or funny is that how she ends up in the same place. You know, she starts thinking about what can be an alternative to studying. She's like, I don't want to do my homework. I don't want to study. But if I don't do my homework, I won't get enough. Like, you know, like... You know like i won't be able to go to college and if i'm not able to go to college then it'll be a problem and then she starts thinking about wait a minute why do i even need to go to college and then she's like i then i would need to do a job if i don't go to a college and uh, then she's like but employment is difficulty without any degrees so i do need to go to college and uh, yeah and for that i need to study but i don't want to study Again, back to the same part, place, you know, it's like a cycle. And then she starts thinking about, like, wait a minute. I'm studying because, you know, like, people say how they have dreams. Do I have any dream? And she remembers her past about how she wanted to be like a lizard or something. <laughs> and she's like, okay, I cannot become a lizard, but I don't want to study. Again, back to the same place. Now, after this, she is like... Wait a minute like if i become a lizard then i won't have any like you know burdens but if but it's even better to become like a national living treasure because that would mean i would be spoiled and i won't have to do my study and then she starts thinking about how should i become a national living treasure and uh, like and she's like wait a minute what is a national living treasure in the first place 
<laughs> then she's like, no, no, let's talk about more realistic expectations. What do I want to be? He's like, ah, oh, I, I, I don't know. It's okay. I have three years to think about it. I can figure it out by then. But then she's like, but for that three years to come, I need to study, but I don't want to study. Again, back to the same place. And, <laughs> and she's like, all right, like, you know, let's think about what I want to do, what I would like to do instead of thinking about what I should become. She tries to think nothing comes in her head. She starts banging the whole floor. <laughs> I knew this was going to happen. Her mom was going to come. I knew it. And she was making a ruckus on top. And her mom comes in, just gives her like a, <laughs> like a, like a wrestling move. And she's like, what time do you think it is? And she's just on the floor, sprawled down and gets up. And she's like, you know what? I don't understand these difficult things. Let's go back to my homework. I think that's better. <laughs> and after the end credits, Again, she comes back to the same place and she's like, but I don't want to do my homework. And that's where it ends. You know what was interesting about this part, the final section? I, <laughs> I think, yeah, I think there was a section, when, there was a time when I also kind of thought about the whole situation like this, where I thought about studying and everything. And then when I was like, I don't like to study, I don't want to do my homework and everything. And then I tried to find out some alternative way. And then in the end, I was like, oh my God, like, yeah, it's not going to work out. Let's just study. Like that type of a thing. It's, this section was so relatable to me. <laughs> That's why I love this part. Like this whole section of Yuko just thinking about what to do, what other alternative there might be. But then realizing by the end of it that everything comes back to homework. She, she does need to do her homework and study for all that to happen and everything. And so she's like, yeah, you know, like just giving up by the end of it. That was, that was funny. Now, okay, that was it. That was my reaction to this episode. This is episode 10 of Nichi Joe. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so that's it thanks for watching guys i'll see you guys next week with another episode of nichi joe until then goodbye and have a nice day